a good morning. Uh, Carla and I are out of town this week, but I wanted to just take a couple of minutes and share a couple of thoughts about the Holy Spirit, the importance of the Holy Spirit in our life. And I want to start with a quote, and then I'm going to read a portion out of a book by R.C. Sproul called The Mystery of the Holy Spirit. And I trust it's going to be a blessing to you. This is a quote by W.A. Criswell. He says this, Without the presence of the Spirit, there is no conviction, no regeneration, no sanctification, no cleansing, no acceptable works. Life is in the quickening Spirit, in the quickening Holy Spirit. Just a thought from R.C. Sproul's book here, a portion, read a couple of uh, paragraphs for you and then close with a verse today. God is so stressing the importance of us having relationship, intimacy with the person, the Holy Spirit, who is God. And we've been talking about that as a body. John 3, 3 says this, Most assuredly, I say to you, unless one is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. We can't experience, we can't see, we can't enter. If you go on in John 3, you'll see you can't enter unless you're born of the Spirit. It has to be the work of the Holy Spirit. R.C. Sproul says this, To be born again is to experience a second genesis. It is a new beginning, a fresh start in life. When something is started, we say that it is generated. It is, if, if it is started, again, it is regenerated. The Greek verb, geneo, that is translated as generate, means to be, to become, or to happen. Regeneration by the Holy Spirit is a change. It is a radical change into a new kind of being. Grab a hold of that. When you are regenerated, when you are born again, you have become a new kind of being. You become spiritually alive. You were dead spiritually, now you are alive. To be regenerated does not mean that we are changed from a human being into a divine being. It does mean that we are changed from spiritually dead human beings into spiritually alive human beings. It's powerful, absolutely powerful. Spiritually dead persons are incapable of seeing the kingdom of God. It is invisible to them. Not because the kingdom itself is invisible, but because the spiritually dead are also spiritually blind. When you were born again, when I was born again, we became spiritually alive and spiritually able to see. We began to we get eyes that we can see so that we can see the kingdom of God and we can enter the kingdom of God, which is the rule of God, the reign of Jesus in our life. Last verse today, it's in John 6, 23. It is the spirit who gives life, the flesh profits nothing. How do we experience life? It is the Spirit who gives life. As we fellowship with, as we're born again, there should be a change, a noticeable difference because we once were blind, now we see, we have spiritual eyes. We have the life of God in us. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I encourage you to read John 3, particularly the portion where it deals about the being born again, seeing and entering the kingdom of God. It is an exciting time to be alive. God is pouring out his spirit, pouring out revelation about the Holy Spirit so that we can be people who are filled with, who are led by, who are empowered by the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit. Have a great week.